this wide out Wednesday. Dan and Hawk, take it away. When does he know time to get inside? Game plan within the game plan. I want to work backwards here. Don't do what's on the paper. Do what you know. This is why he's such a smart football player. This is the fastest feed. Oh, oh, oh. ah, ah. If I tried that now, I would tear everything. You have my permission to slap him to sleep. That was get dope. it. That was dope. Wide out Wednesday. Yay, yay. Oh, it's time, guys. Wide out Wednesday. Uh, before we there get to the breakdown here. You. Whoa, whoa. Dan pulled a muscle. Uh, I'm going to let you talk now and see if you can. We're going to talk about wide out Wednesday, but before we actually get into breaking down the play, we have to... Like just appreciate yeah. some of like the smaller receivers that are playing at a really Look, high level in the NFL. Go. It wouldn't be wide out Wednesday with Andrew Hawkins if we didn't oh. show love to sub 5'10 receivers hitting 72 yard home run. Ha! My man Calvin Austin. How all tall right? is Calvin Austin? Five, he nine? measured 5'7 and 3 fourths coming into the draft. 5'7 and 3 fourths? Now look, coming before I came draft? to the league, there was no 5'7 receivers in the rotation. So you were now, I wasn't a Pro Bowl, I wasn't a Super Bowl player, but I had impact. Look at my man. That's love right there. That's not real. Hey, you got this. Fast. Is this uh, Washington from Georgia? Yes, that's a, that's a tough player to be come beside. Here, come here, come here, come here. You stand here. No, man, because he's like 6'6 now. It's like, but this is like watching me and you stand next to each other. It is, and if you're not a 6'6", six, six, uh, six, six worth of Connecticut swag, uh, you better be fast, right? And that's what Calvin Austin is. Let's get into some wideout wins. Yeah, let's get into some wideout. Devontae Smith from the Philadelphia Eagles in a very specific triple move. Yes, absolutely. Wise. When he came into the league, people wondered if he could be effective at 170 pounds. But the two things that matter most in the NFL is can you catch and can you separate? Mm. And Devontae can do both those things better than anybody. Now, in this one, it's a stutter, go, comeback. All right, and this is a little bit of a sell drop. He wants this DB to pick up the crumbs that he is dropping and really believe that it's a stutter go. So the first thing is he's going to wide release because he would never run a stutter go from that alignment. When you he, say wide release, instead of him running in that straight line, he's yes. going to widen essentially towards the sideline? He wants him to feel go. Okay. There's a, there's a, the, the red line outside the numbers is where you would throw a stutter go. So okay. number one, it's Sell the stutter. Get to the depth that it would take, around 7 to 10 yards, and break it down. Now, if you go to the ISO here, what we're going to also show you is this is where the sell job comes in. This is a triple move. Okay. And if it's a double move, you would sell this first route hard as you can because you want him to bite on that. But since it's three moves, you actually come off the ball lazy. So look how he's just pacing himself okay. before the stutter because he wants this DB to think, oh, it's a double move, let me run to it. And then he accelerates. You sell the second move in a triple move. Woo! Once Woo! he sells the go, he gets to the inside leverage and he puts full force into that, Dan. And watch how he sits down and stops. Look how quickly he comes out of this break. So from there to there. To there, that quick. Three steps, chop, 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 and he's already running opposite direction where that DB is still wondering what the route is. So I got a question. So you're telling me the number one thing for him coming off the football is to kind of be a little bit tempoed. You're trying yes. to get that defensive back to gauge. Is he trying to change the tempo for him? It's a triple move. You want him to think double move. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so I have you're to telling... show him the double move. I so you're, say... you're, this is the most important part of the route, that initial kind of like, yes. oh, here, I'm going stop and go. I want you to see it. And I want you to feel good about diagnosing there, it. Really, what's the tr like, what, what do you want that guy to do after you hit that first stop? You want to blag. You have to literally accelerate at a completely different rate. This is full speed. So like, now he feels like he saw the first route. Yeah. I think this is the double move. And then when you accelerate, it's, oh, I know it's the double move. I turn to the double move. This is what I find interesting. Everybody at home, pay attention to the defensive back here. After that move that Hawk is talking about, I want you to see that? Like, see how he flips his hips and runs? Watch Man. the DB. See how he, like, he, he's turning. Is that what you're trying to get him to do? Absolutely. Turn to run. And Absolutely. then there's that opening right there. Stop on the dime. Great ball by Jalen Hurts, yeah. but incredible route by Devontae Smith. And for all you Twitter debaters. What do you guys call it, route-wise? Good question. We call Stutter it squirrel. Go squirrel. We squirrel. call it a squirrel. Depending on what offense you in, it has yeah, different yeah. names. But for all you Twitter debaters out there, look at all that goes into a, just a 15-yard catch. Oof. You wouldn't be able good to do point. it. Good point. Wide out Wednesday, baby. <laughs> <laughs>